Well, parents of fifth grade students, I'm Rob Reitz, principal at Chippewa, and this video will serve as an abbreviated version of our Parent Information Night presentation. I'll cover important components of our instructional model, and I'll share information pertaining to a major literacy reset taking place in sixth grade English language arts classrooms next year. But mostly what I want all parents to know is that we care deeply about how students experience learning here at Chippewa. We aspire to provide a highly engaged and highly connected experience, and we very much want to partner with parents so that we can ensure each student has a positive middle school experience at CHIP. Chippewa is a very special place, and I think among the things that makes us most special is our problem-based STEAM program. STEAM at Chippewa closely mirrors the design thinking process, and as a result, Students frequently generate questions and explore answers. They learn to interview and actively listen. They survey and analyze data. They collaborate with others, and they learn how to use feedback to improve their work. We aim to provide purposeful learning that benefits others. Here are a few examples of learning that is to the benefit of others. Right now, students in our orchestra class are experimenting with printing a replacement bridge for broken cellos and violins. They researched and requested that we purchase wood-infused 3D filament. They're creating and testing prototypes and closely observing the fit as well as the sound of the bridges they're creating. The second example is from a sixth grade student who simply saw that his science teacher needed replacement handles on the cabinet in the front of her classroom. He saw this as an opportunity to create his own project in our integrated science class. This took many iterations to get a correct fit. The student purposely chose different colors so that the 3D printed handles stood out. His teacher, Ms. Tuma, was thrilled. This was really the start of our realizing how excited kids become when their learning benefits others. These are more examples of how students are learning for the benefit of others within the process of design thinking. The image on the left is door window art made for Mr. Hausman. It represents his content as well as who he is as a teacher. He frequently wears the safety glasses and his students captured that as part of her project in art and design. The other four images are the art students are creating for each classroom set of Chromebooks. They're creating individual designs that capture the content being learned in each of our courses. This is also a project that students are completing in seventh grade art and design. These student work samples only scratch the surface of how we're changing the audience for who sees and benefits from the daily work that students are completing here. One of the ways we created the conditions for this kind of work is through our iCreate positive performance intervention system, which we designed to teach students how to become effective learners. Our teacher leaders identified six qualities of effective learners that we want all students to practice over their three years here. The thought was, if we want students to become effective collaborators, we all need to teach it. So, at Chippewa, we offer a number of group projects. We also decided we wanted students to frequently reflect on their learning, both what they learned and the amount of time and effort they put into it. So. Reflection is now a core learner quality that we emphasize here. The same is true of engagement, or more specifically, staying engaged. We ask students to grapple with many challenging concepts here, and we need them to learn how to stay engaged and persist through struggles. Part of this is teaching them to advocate for what they need. This could be anything from relearning or asking for more time to complete a big project. In addition, it is important to all of us that students learn to think. We are shifting well beyond simply asking close-ended questions that have a clear right or wrong answer. Schools simply can no longer just be about questions that have answers kids could otherwise Google and get right. We want to increase the complexity of students' thinking such that they have to think both flexibly and critically. And we also want to provide opportunities for them to explore the topics they are most interested in. A major goal of our STEAM programming is that students leave us more curious about the world around them than they were when they started here in sixth grade. Lastly, STEAM programming at Chippewa has brought about major changes to our course offerings. We now offer two 18-week coding courses over three years of middle school. Integrated Math 1, taught in sixth grade, 
teaches algebraic and geometric concepts through block-based coding computer programming. Integrated Math 1 also incorporates robotics with a number of highly engaging challenges and activities that require students to design and redesign their robot as well as the code they're using to operate it. Integrated Math 2 taught in 8th grade is a self-paced course that introduces students to the Python language as well as to physical computing through the use of small computers called Raspberry Pi. We also introduce a number of add-on tools and applications like SenseHats and SonicPy. Our sixth grade integrated science course is also self-paced and provides students access to industry standard software and tools. They design 2D and 3D products in CorelDRAW and Autodesk Inventor, and then bring those products to life using laser cutters, Cameo blade cutters, and 3D printers. It is in integrated science that students are first introduced to design thinking. In the 7th and 8th grade courses that follow, Media Lit and Art and Design, as well as our 8th grade Entrepreneurship course, students practice engaging the kind of interpersonal research that allows for them to understand a problem with empathy, such that they can generate tailored and targeted solutions or products. Our Maker Monday and Wonder Wednesday experiences in 6th and 7th grade provide further practice within the process of design thinking, while also engaging students in some of the most joyful learning experiences they will have here. So we have changed a great deal over the past three years to increase student learning and engagement. Next year is no different. Starting with next year's sixth grade cohort, middle schools across the district will engage in a literacy reset that shifts our current instructional model away from two tracks or courses in English language arts one for advanced and one for on grade level, to a single course offered to all students. Why are we doing this? The simple answer is that it is best for each and every student. As I said, literacy is a critical component of our STEAM programming. And yet, in comparison to elementary teachers who know and can describe intimately who each of their learners are as a reader and a writer, Learning in our ELA classrooms is less personal and far too general in scope. Our current model and our approach limits the degree to which teachers can target and personalize instruction for each student. I had the great fortune of observing literacy instruction at Island Lake. What I saw were teachers that understood with much greater clarity what skills and conceptual thinking students had and had not mastered. Reading comprehension is comprised of a great many complex skills, like truly understanding an author's purpose, or making inferences and drawing conclusions, or making sense of unknown vocabulary based on the context in which it appears. And any one student's ability to demonstrate all of these individual skills is different. Whereas currently we know generally how well a student is comprehending the texts they're reading, we do not know with certainty which skills carry their comprehension, and which skills inhibit what they understand from the text they're reading. This is what is changing through the explicit teaching of strategies proven to develop specific comprehension skills taught in strategic small groupings. At times those groupings will be based on ability, but also at times they'll be based on choice, through book clubs, or through the use of carefully chosen mentor texts. We feel strongly teachers will better understand and be able to personalize what students need as a result of our new approach to literacy. We have already begun preparing teachers for this reset, and we will continue to do so over the summer. In fact, we have a three-year plan for implementation and a fantastic literacy coach frequently working in support of our teachers, and as always, we will be closely monitoring the student experience as well as the growth students are showing. If you have questions about our literacy reset, please do not hesitate to reach out to myself or Ms. Hollihan, our associate principal. So I've shared a great deal about our instructional model. I wanna shift gears a bit and talk specifically about transition to middle school. The folks most responsible for the effective transition of students into sixth grade are pictured here. Our Dean Team, Ms. Kearns, who is Dean of Students with last names A through E, Ms. Sparrow, Dean of Students, last names F through L-E, Mr. Swanson, Dean of Students, last names L-I through S-A, 
and Mr. Molina, Dean of Students with last names S, B through Z. They do a great job working with students and families in the fall and throughout each school year. They're a one-stop shop for academic, social, emotional, and behavioral support. In June, our deans will host students from our two feeder schools for a tour and a Q&A session. Then, in August, they'll meet with each sixth grade student and family as part of our three plus one planning meetings, which help to welcome students and provide a clear message of support for them as they transition to middle school. In late August, students will come to Chippewa to pick up their schedule and locker assignment, and will be able to meet each of their sixth grade teachers. Then. The first day of school, what we call in the middle day, is just for sixth graders and serves to really help ensure they feel welcome, safe, and aware of how to navigate our building. Again, our deans work very hard to ensure students are supported and cared for, as do our teachers. We have an amazing team of sixth grade faculty that seek to make learning fun and engaging. That will do it for this abbreviated version of our Parent Information Night presentation. Thank you for taking time to learn more about Chippewa. For more information, please visit the News tab on our Chippewa website, which is updated frequently. If you click News and then scroll, you'll see more information pertaining to our fifth grade enrollment night. As I said at the start, I really believe Chippewa is a special place, and it's special not just because of our STEAM programming, but also because of the student, families, and teachers that walk through our doors each day. We very much believe in providing a warm, welcoming, and personalized experience, and we wish to partner with families as much as is possible. So to that end, do not hesitate to reach out to any of us with any questions you might have about the transition to middle school or in regard to our instructional programming. Thank you again for watching this video, and we will see you in the fall.